Hi, I'm Christine Elizabeth. Thank you for joining the channel today. Today is exciting because it is seven years since I made the original video. Back in September 2015, I started a video called Solutions When You Can't Work Because of PNES or NES. And NES and PNES are types of conversion disorders or also known as FND, Functional Neurological Disorder. So back then, I was at the beginning of, I didn't share at the time because I didn't know it for about a year. Um, I was at the beginning of a two and a half year, two and three quarters year uh, journey being homeless. And it all started uh, with being diagnosed with uh, PNES, having to overcome PNES so that I could work and take care of my family. And uh, unfortunately, during that time, I made a bad investment uh, with a company and which turned out to be a Ponzi scheme, which was kind of heartbreaking and led me to the situation where I was in, where I had no more money. I was applying for jobs and I couldn't find employment. I was still on my journey. So I I was, I was just not having seizures, but there was still so much and I didn't qualify for SSI. So where God did not provide for me financially through SSI, he did provide for me for uh, through other ways. And yes, even though the government considered me homeless, um, I never felt that way. I never felt that way for the people who opened their arms and their homes uh, to allow me to stay with them while I was on this journey. And I'm eternal gratefully. I'm eternally grateful for those people. So what I posted in the first video all was all about resources that I was finding at the time. And they were great and they were helpful, but they were incomplete. Again, hindsight is wonderful. It is such a gift if you take the time to look back. Well, at the time, I was just starting to learn about what my personal gifts and talents were. And if you want to know what your personal gifts and talents are, Go below in the description, there is a link to 16personalities.com. It is my favorite link to share with people. It's a free resource for anybody who's trying to get a quick capture of what makes them them. It goes through things about your personality, it goes through uh, jobs and careers that you are best suited for. And we should go for our strengths, not towards things that are our weakness. We want to shine. So yes, we want to overcome challenges as well, but let's lead with our best. And that really is the journey that I've been on these last seven years. I stopped trying to fit into everyone else's box. And yes, I was applying for jobs. I would have taken any job that God opened the door, but I really wanted the job. I wanted what he had for me. So if that's what where you are, if you are so desperate for work, um, but you also know that, that you really want to be where you're supposed to be, not just where you fill a, a, a void, a role, um, but you want to make a difference with your life. You want to live a life of purpose, of meaning, and a value and to feel value, then I recommend that you take that step to just start to get that, get to know yourself better, get to know what your gifts and talents are. And one other thing that I remembered at that time was sitting there and remembering this conversation when I was nine years old and somebody asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I very quickly said, I wanted to be a mother. And that's not the, what they were asking, but that Answer stayed with me for a very long time. I mean, I still remember it very vividly. I remember where I was. And I, I was sitting at the um, in the church that I grew up in, in the nursery, and I was playing with the little kids, and I just loved nurturing. I mean, that was something that I didn't have that word in my vocabulary at that time, but that's really what it was. And I still do. I love loving on people. I love supporting them. I love helping give them building blocks and cheering them on. That's just something that I, I've always desired in my heart because I'm good at that. That's a gift that God gave me. So I started asking my clients and friends and family members and my kids, what do you want to be? And then asking them questions of why, what stands out? What, what was it about that, that you were gravitating towards? So people said, well, when I was younger, I wanted to be a firefighter, but I don't want to be a firefighter. And I said, well, what about it? Well, I wanted to help people. Oh, wow. Well, why don't you take this personality profile, see what it says and see what area of uh, expertise, or maybe you already know, maybe you're really good at, at this or that. And 
there's already a position out there that fits for you. There wasn't for me. Me wanting to help very specifically people with PNES, there wasn't a position or a role for me. And so sometimes you have to create your own. And that's something that I want to encourage. I'll never forget. uh, It was 2014. I couldn't do a lot because I was having hours and hours of seizures every day. PNES seizures. So they were non-epileptic. And I was... um, I was kind of on this science experiment of how to get rid of the seizures because that's all I could do. I I couldn't stop thinking about getting rid of them. And I knew that I had them for a reason. I had to find the reason. And I knew that to get rid of them, I would have to do the opposite of what I did to have them. Easy, right? No, it's not easy. But I had some people in my life with strengths that helped me. And just the fact that... I wanted to do it was uh, it was super super powerful because at that point when you're determined to do something you're going to go you're you're just so determine your heart that you're going to overcome determine in your heart that you're going to be this or do that whatever it is be determined in your heart because only then will no one else's words erase those words from your heart so At that time, I was laying in bed and I was watching these TED Talks. It's one of the few things that I could do at that time. And when I was watching these TED Talks, one of the speakers, and I promise I would be so overjoyed if you know who I'm talking about and you have a link or you just know a name of this person because I want to say thank you to them because they deposited such a great gem into my life and it it changed a course. This man was talking about um, how villages in other countries in um, what we would consider poverty, they don't have a piece of paper to tell them that they're qualified to do something. And they don't keep people from doing things that they're gifted to do until they have a piece of paper that says that they're qualified, they're certified, somebody has said that they are enough. They wouldn't they'd all be dead (laughs) if they did that because they don't have formalized education so they know and they what I started with I have gifts and talents that I was born with you have gifts and talents that you were born with so they're very aware of that they look for these things when when the children are younger or they apprentice them and they start to follow and follow in somebody's footsteps so I sat there and I listened to this person who was encouraging the watchers to not be limited, to go for what it is that is in their hearts to do, to go for what they know that they're already created to do, cut out to do. So the point is, I let this man's words penetrate my heart and I knew that I wanted to help people. Again, something inside of me said, you can do it. But my Western mind said, I need a piece of paper that says that I can do this. And in my heart, I felt God say, no. So fast forward a year, right up to the point where I'm about to make this video in September 2015 about solutions uh, when you can't work. I was now in this home estate, right? And I was at the libraries because I didn't have the ability to do the search. I didn't have the computer. I didn't have... Um, I just didn't have what I needed, the resources that I needed where I was at. So I went to the library and I would stay there for hours when I wasn't searching for work because that's very hard and it's very demoralizing and it's very hard to get rejected over and over and over again. Although it's a very good uh, thing to do if rejection is one of your issues (laughs) because it helps you to, to work through it. So sitting there at the library uh, when I wasn't looking for work, I focused and spent a lot of my time learning. And I wanted to learn about how our brain worked. I wanted to learn um, about uh, how there was so much. I can't even go into all the things that I learned. I mean, from psychology to biology to chemistry to mathematics, very, very little mathematics, only when I needed it to understand something else. Philosophy. There's so much. 
There's so much in the library that you can learn if you are looking to grow. So I sat there in the libraries and I was just determined. I had this idea that, okay, no, I'm not going to have a piece of paper, but it doesn't mean that I can't help people. So as I learned, I continued to make videos. I continued to share what I was learning, what it what, what I was applying in my own life, what was working, what stuck. Um, and there were things that I shared that I'll be honest that I knew were right, but I just didn't have the skill set beforehand to apply what I, I learned there. But I still learned to share it for those who were, um, right? Because there are a lot of things that we know that we tell people that we don't do, even though we know it's good principle. It doesn't make us a hypocrite. It just makes us not there on our journey yet. So don't be discouraged if you have really good information. Just don't come across as a know-it-all. So what I did with that is I continued to share on YouTube. I continued to share um, within my own circles. I found Facebook support groups that I shared with people, only people who were really looking to grow. And what was fascinating is that that grew into helping people and being able to turn that this calling into a career actually allowed me to turn that even more into a ministry and a nonprofit. And a whole surprising twist to it, because not only is something uh, one of my gifts about nurturing, but something else that I was born with um, was just curiosity. And somebody had asked me when I, I joined this chamber, and I started, at, this was, I was now taking a different approach to looking for work. And I joined this chamber and I was telling them about my story. And I shared with them about my YouTube channel, not so that they would watch it, but just to share that that was part of my journey and uh, how I wanted to use it. Well, a couple people did. I'm sure there might be more than a couple who, who saw the channel. And they said, we want your help making videos. And I, I kind of sat and thought, what the heck? Why would you want my help making videos? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> I told you that I want to help people overcome trauma and overcome. But I didn't say that out loud. I said that in my head because, again, I felt underqualified. And truly, all I had was a baseline understanding of how to record, how to edit, how to post, how to and, and just being kind and considerate and listening to the people's comments below and answering them and reaching out to people who I really felt needed help on a, on another level. So here's the point of that. My curiosity and their desire to help me uh, financially and to give me some sort of, some kind of employment. Um, they hired me, certain people hired me for the, that purpose. At the library, they happen to have, not at the library I was studying at, but at another library within my um, county, Orange County in uh, Florida, they have the Melrose Center. And I was aware of the Melrose Center. I'd never visited it. It was downtown. I was not downtown. So I just didn't have a purpose to go there yet. I was aware of it, though. So when these people said that they wanted help and I thought about my itty bitty prehistoric equipment that I used, I quickly recognized that I needed help. And here again, I need help. I know resources. I'm going to go to those resources. I ended up now going to a new library. And at this library, they taught me all about videography. They taught me about lighting. They taught me about sound. They taught me about um, a computer program called Premiere Pro in, in, in Adobe and how to edit videos. So I am not by trade, by education, any of the things that I've already mentioned. And then seven years after I make this original, what happens? My gifts made room. It created limitless expansion of my territory, my boundaries in my life. And it has brought me in the presence and some great people. So I hope this is encouraging to you. I hope the fact that I went from being homeless for about two and a half years, two and three quarters of a year to owning two businesses and a nonprofit. 
I hope that gives you some encouragement. I am not some extraordinary human being, but I had some extraordinary people in my life and I had extraordinary resources and I have a very extraordinary uh, faith that somebody who created me, I believe, loves me and has a really good plan for me. So these are the tools. And if you cannot work because of trauma, because of disabilities of any sort, I want you to ask your heart something. Being in this really valuable situation, because had I not been homeless, I would not have that time or the resources to do what I was doing because I was limited, limited myself. Being that you have all this time, what do you really want? And if you want God's help creating a great plan for your life, he's got one. So please leave a comment below if this was helpful to you. If you have any words of encouragement, suggestions, uh, questions, I, I want to be a resource for you beyond these videos. And if you have a story of your own to share, if you have overcome something, if you have created out of your giftings something that you just never thought possible because of social limitations, uh, society's limiting using their words and their requirements, please share below. Share your hope, your encouragements. And if you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified every time a new video is posted. Right now, we're posting once a week and uh, on Wednesdays, uh, usually in the evening. And I just want to say that I'm just so encouraged by your views. I'm encouraged that you want more for yourself. If you made it to the end of the video and you feel like somebody else might be benef might benefit from this, I please encourage you to share it. Share, share, share. If this is helping you, it could help others. So hit the share button. You have multiple options. You can share by text. You can share by email. You can share to your social medias. But if you heard something good, pass it along. Take care and be well.